Hey guys, your inner chakras. <clears throat> welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Let me make sure this is right side up. Guys, anything about me will be down in the description box. If you are a Pisces, I read specifically for Pisces on the Pisces channel. Or if you're dating a Pisces or anything like that, your friends are Pisces, whatever. I'm a Pisces, right? Um, or you just want to support me. Right? That doesn't mean bounce from this page to that page. That may support both pages, right? <laughs> I usually post in reverse. So like tonight, I'm ending with you guys. So I'll start with you in the morning. And then tomorrow, because I'm ending with Pisces, then I'll start with Pisces the following morning. All right, guys. Major Arcana only. What are you facing in your love life? What's the most important you need to see from spirit? What's the biggest thing? The magician. Spirit wants you to know that you have everything you need. You can manifest like magic is alive in your life right now. You can manifest. You can make anything you want happen when it comes to this love thing. Tell me, Spirit. And then the High Priestess. Follow your intuition, guys. You can manifest it. If you can see it, it will come. Whatever what they say, if you build it, it will come. Mm-hmm. What's this love thing all about? Guys, magic is alive in your life. You can manifest if you so choose. Spirit, what's going on with this love thing? So let's go back to find out, shall we? someone else right you're just tired of arguing you're tired of fighting you're tired of the back and forth you're tired of the disagreements and you're walking away you grab your two little dogs and you're walking away right you can live in a big city or something like that i don't know but you're definitely walking away you got your car your truck packed up everything is packed up but you're tired of arguing with this person right and not a pistol in reverse And you're making changes, right? You're making changes. You're making some changes, right? You're walking away from something. Tell me, spirit. It looks like you gave this person another chance with the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like you gave them another chance, but y'all still fighting. You're still arguing. You're going to end up walking away. You're the Empress here. You're going to end up walking away for four wands, for, for more stability, for more support, whatever that means to you. But you're definitely walking away. Your person is going to try to pull you back. Their hand is on your hand. It's like you're walking away and then they're holding your hand like this in this picture here. But you're definitely walking away. I think you gave them another chance, but you, you still, you just don't see eye to eye. You, you're arguing a lot, fighting a lot. You could have been married to this person before, but the Ten of Swords in reverse, it has a divorce certificate there. This is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you could have been married to this person. But I think if you walk away this time, if you walk away, if you give them a second chance and you walk away this time, there will be no new beginning. You're the empress. It's like you're not going to breathe life into this person anymore. So I think if you walk away this time, it, it's final. I think you found out that this person is being very sneaky. Seven of Wands energy. You probably feel like they betrayed you. Sneaking in and out the house, sneaking out the window. So you feel they betrayed you. And you're healing from it. You're going to walk away and you're healing from it. You may even sneak away. You may not have to sneak away, right? I don't know. It looks like you're just going to walk away. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. You're not up in your head about it either. Like you're not afraid. 
and you have no regrets about walking away. You don't regret walking away from this person after giving them the second chance. You don't regret it. You could be going back to something. Eight of Cups in reverse. Either that or you have unfinished business somewhere, either with this person or somewhere else. Maybe you went back for more answers and you got the answers you seek. Ace of Swords in reverse. It wasn't what you wanted, but it was what you needed to hear. So you finally got something. Yeah, you've been through the tower with this person. You've been through the tower. You do have a Nine of Cups in your energy here, Empress. A Knight of Cups. And I guess you're realizing, even though you went back, you probably even went back a second time. I don't know, but it still didn't work. Spirit Prince wasn't reworked. There was no team, no teamwork. The devil could have been in this connection here, you know, pulling the strings. I don't know. Could have been a lot of seduction, sex, could be addictions, anything that captures there, but it didn't work. And this is your final judgment here. I think spirit is going to come in and save you because you keep going back and forth with this person. But you finally ended it. You finally ended it. Maybe they came back in offering you love again and you tried it again and it didn't work again. So the devil was pulling the strings. It could have been sex, addiction, whatever. You're walking away. There's no hope here. I think you definitely love this person, but you realizing this isn't your wish fulfillment. Yeah. You're gonna move on. You have victory. You're probably in the um, public eye or something like that. But you're not giving this person a new beginning. You're not giving them a second chance. Now you're finally swimming away to common waters. It's like you went back a few times to try and fix it. Yeah, you ended that wrong. You went back a, a few times to try to fix it or you let them try and fix it a few times or you let them back in. And it's you just can't do it again. Like you just can't. Yeah, it's over now. Two of Wands. Three of Cups in reverse. You found out they was giving other people, hanging out with other people. And it took your strength to move away, to walk away. It took all your strength. It did. But that's not your emotional fulfillment. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so you're gonna end it, guys. And this is your chance to manifest whatever you want. You're gonna follow your intuition. Don't forget. Yeah, page of swords. High priestess. Somebody could be watching you. Somebody that wants a higher level of commitment with you. They're just not saying anything. Someone's gonna offer you a two of cups. Yeah. Someone's gonna offer you a two of cups. They're just not saying anything right now. They're watching you. And you're in, you ended things. There's the death card there. You got off this wheel of fortune with this person, this emperor here in reverse, who didn't offer you any stability. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you found out that this person has a family. Maybe you did, right? You're the Queen of Cups. You've ended things. You're a very loving person. Happiness is coming into you. Like, you're still happy. You, you, you have the Sun card. And you're excited about moving forward. You're, fight, you're excited about leaving this person. Yeah. Not a wild energy. You're moving on fast. I think you found out this person may have had a family. Maybe you found out. Holy Spirit, clarify the setup of the first year. Yep. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. You found out that they have a family. So you dropped your burden. You're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. And this is the High Priestess again. You're definitely following your intuition. Spirit is warning you. This is a sign. Spirit gave you the High Priestess strike. Like, pay attention. This is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person had a child with somebody. They do. And you're not a hangman anymore. You see it for what it is. Five of Swords in reverse. You're done with all this betrayal. You're releasing it. You've invested well, guys. You'll be fine. You've invested well. You will be fine. This death right here is on balance. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. You may find out later that this person has a family, a child, a person that you forgave several times. 
and you're going to find out that they have a family. Ooh, honey child. Sometimes I just wish I could just slap the shit out of some people for y'all without them knowing that it's me. Like I can just pop up in their house. They don't even see me. And then I just slap them and then I come back and be like, I slapped them 10 times last night. You know what I mean? I wish. And then I wish y'all could slap some people for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. We need to figure out how we can make that happen. We need to set that up energetically where we can just fling each other to somebody else's house, slap them up, you know, invisibly. They can't see you. And then call the person up be like, hey, I did it, girl. Be like, you did. I just slapped you. Get in. 50. Real? Okay. Then I'm going to do 51 tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.